crazy patchwork is a very traditional form of patchwork where we just use up scraps. And for most people, when they hear that word, they think of a quilt that's a bit like this. This is a Victorian style crazy patchwork quilt that would have used up all sorts of bits of leftovers. The actual bits of fabric were probably very plain when they were sewn into the, the quilt or probably just made up into squares, but then it's heavily embellished with handwork, hand embroidery, maybe bits of lace and everything. And while that is very inspiring, it's actually, I think for today's world, very labor intensive. I like to make crazy patchwork with fabric where I just stack them five or six layers deep, rotary cut them, change them around places, sew them together. But Jane's brought in this really lovely modern version, mm -hmm. I think inspired in a way by the yes, tradition, because we've got big pieces of fabric that have been yeah. sewn together. But rather than hand work, we've got low yes. using all the decorative, all the decorative stitches well, on the machine. Some of the decorative well, stitches. Well, just some of them, yes. But and, you've got and options again, some of. of it, if you look on here, some of these are done again almost probably freehand. Well, I think. But I was going to say yes. Well. I was going to say you're the. Yeah. The artist has definitely used the size of the colour to dictate the sort of quilting they've yeah. got because this is definitely within this shape. Yeah. And this one I love because it just mm. goes through the, the And again, the satin stitch works Isn't really well. Again, you could use the border guide yes. to get some decorative stitches down either side. Oh, yeah. So you really can have a good play with all the stitches on the machine. For Absolutely. Something like this. How gorgeous yeah. is that? But I love the fact that it mm. stays within the colour shape. Yes. Yeah. And we've got a work in progress. We have indeed. One well, here's, here's one we started earlier with um, lovely, um, lovely vibrant colours as well. Mode de grunge, yeah. true. And so we've just started doing some of the. And again, it's the same as when you're doing your quilting. Always start in the centre and work out when you're doing something like this. And I dropped the stitch width to seven mil for the smaller blocks in okay. the centre. Then we're back up at nine mil now. Started across yeah. from there so to there. So we've started the little ones here. And as we're coming further out, we're making the stitches larger because we've got larger pieces of fabric. To do. And you have got away without any pins. I have. Because this is fusible wadding. It's fusible wadding, which is fabulous. It's Neat great for that. small projects. Oh, I yes. do use it quite a lot yes. for small projects. Absolutely. And again, it's a great way to play with all the stitches on your machine. Mm. We're going almost in the ditch here okay. along the lines, but there's nothing to stop you doing something similar to that. So you can put some decorative stitches across. You can really have a good And play. just as in a traditional crazy mm. that they would have done herringbone with yes. plus things, you're yeah. going across the seams. I am going straight so, across. And yes. it's nice, even though I'm stopping and tying threads yeah. in at the back we're still going to catch most of those seams yes, and as yes. we're going and working our way out not that i was going to say there's no raw edge here but you could no. put it but on a satin stitch you could have a raw edge you could you? yeah you could that um, would take a long time satin stitching all these though, wouldn't it, it would yes. be there forever <laughs> but we're using a lot these ones i've used so far are just from the quilting section on the machine okay. so i'm going to pop up and then we've got the quilting sections here so it says 74 <laughs> stitches. Yeah, and there are lots of different yes. ones in here. Some of them, and again, just sample a few out first on little scrap pieces just to see which ones you like. Some you prefer more to others. Okay. Some of them lend themselves better to different types of quilting as well. So we're using all these. The one we've got on at the moment is stitch number 60, which is here. And the machine tells you which foot to do as yes. well, doesn't it? So again, we've got the satin you. stitch foot on yes. here. Again, and again, I've left it at 9 mil. Okay. Before I was dropping it down to a seven mil. So that the screen gives you it's what width, um, yeah. it's kind of a starting point, yes, but yeah. you can play about. With you can that. play with those. Yes. yes so you're going to leave it. Yeah. On the I'm widest. going to leave it like that, and then we're just going to literally come down this this seam now, just down here. And again, if you can notice, we've changed colours. Lots of different colours on here, so you can go really wild with all your fancy threads that you've bought over the years and are sitting in a box somewhere. Yes, absolutely. So okay. with these, I just need to turn around a tiny bit. I'm going to put the needle in to start to make sure I'm in the correct position. And then we can just literally, and again, as with most of these, you know, don't rush when you're sewing it. I'm hoping I'm going fairly straight because I can't see... In fact, it'll probably be straight, isn't it? Oh, yeah. so the square. interesting thing yeah. is with the one you've chosen, mm. the, the machinery is definitely pulling the machines backwards and forwards. It does, yes. Which is exactly why you can't have a walking foot no, on here. No, no. Some first. Right foot. This is quite a thin fusible wadding, so it's OK. But if I was using something a little heavier, then I would sample it on scraps. And I would probably take some of the top foot pressure off as well, off the stitch, just so it's not coming down quite as hard on it. And it's mm. quite therapeutic, actually. You can sit here. 
sewing all these together. And again, you see, as we're coming out, we're doing larger pieces, so it's great for using up leftovers from a project. Yes, you want to make a matching really cushion nice. or, really nice. you know, say you were doing a quillo even, that would be really nice to do a patchwork yeah. cushion for the quillo, pop the quilt in. So there's just lots of different ways to do it. And again, so you can have free reign with all your threads that you've got stashed away. It's really nice. It sort of blends in a little bit on one side, this colour you've chosen, yeah. but stands out very much on the, on yeah. the lighter pink. Yeah, so it's quite so nice. it, yes. so I'm coming down to the end now. So so, and these are Janome embroidery threads. These are Janome embroidery me? threads, and I've stopped trying to... Okay. Now, I don't, I can, I'm not put a lock stitch on, because if I put the lock stitch on, it will continue till it finishes. Right. So I've just stopped. So what I'm going to do is take my needle, needle up. up. I'm going to lift the foot up, Manually. and I'm going to take it out to one side, okay. and then I'm going to press my cup. Oh, my goodness. I do this when I'm quilting, so now I've got long threads top and bottom, so I can tie so it off on the back. Down through the back. And pop it through the back now. And pay I've got a long thread here, and I can just take this through and tie it off, off. Nice. And then it's finished. Oh, how there. lovely is that! And this one, can I do the same with that. I will just snip that one off now because Does then I'm going to come across here stitch? as well. Oh, you're going to come across. I'm going to yes, come across course. there. So okay. yeah, I will then so. just. Cut that one off. Yeah. So it's just a really nice way, I say, to make an additional little mini project. It's really lovely. It's really it lovely. Is. Thank you very You're much. You're very welcome. Yeah, that's another one where you can mm. use up your scraps and actually got your bits of thread too. 